So you think we was gonna start on her because you knew it was gonna take up time. There was gonna be the only one we covered. That was two things. Who about Martha? Ashley, put it in the group chat. Don't keep Nikki. Um, your Martha. Yeah, you know I don't even want to talk about Martha. I have a change of heart now. Now I just wanted to flow and, and just talk about whatever because you know what I think. What what happens with Martha is that we give her too much time that she don't even deserve. So we should just go ahead and move on. Um, I want to talk about Eric and AJ. They are getting on my fucking nerves. <laughs> this shit is well the fuck out. <laughs> they need to be going on and do, do what they gonna do to each other. I'm sick of hearing Eric Holler say he's not fat anymore. I work out. Fuck you, AJ. And I'm hearing AJ Eric going on like I'm tired of them. You know one thing about it, though, no shade. We have to be completely honest about Eric and AJ. They definitely give us a fucking show, and it's funny as fuck. <laughs> It's funny as fuck because listen, no shit. <laughs> because wait, listen, no shade though. They so fucking funny to the point where it's like, you know what? I'm gonna have to do a special follow on both of them when they go live. And then literally just, you know, do like just watch them all up until they end their live. No shit, they're so fucking funny. Because you have to think about it, you're fucking with two mental patients, okay? Two mental patients. They're both insane in the membrane. They both don't have any common sense. They're both slow as fuck. They just don't know what they're doing with each other. So it's just like whenever they go live, it's always a combative situation. And it's always entertaining. I think it's much funnier than 21 and Demi. I'm tired of 21 and Demi. If you want to talk okay, about couple therapy. When, I, went, I was in low room creeper tonight. 21 put the nigga last night and did me house. Did you see the video of Demi uh, recording it from her ring from her ring camera? What? Yeah, the dude had dreads. He uh she she recorded it the whole time from her wing her ring camera. The dude got dreads. He walked up the steps. He almost tripped up the second step to the last step on the porch. Got to the porch, knocked on the door, or whatever, and boom, walked right on in. Demi recorded it from her ring from her ring light camera. She got to record them fucking poop. So no, just to record of the dude walking in. I don't know. But the dude looked they dingy. Basically, I mean, well, hell, look at someone. Like, she dingy, too. Food. I mean, okay, you know. Look how they look, how they smell. She just have the food. I'm thinking to myself, where the fuck did 21 meet this guy? Is she on some type of website? He was walking by and decided to throw the food. They say she a They say she be so horny. Oh no, he had a call. She better be fucking that little old man. Oh, they say it was the Uber driver. They so the one said that was the plug. So was he the plug? Was he the Uber driver? Huh? They said that she was the he was the plug. Well, I mean, which one is he? The plug, the, the Uber, Uber driver. Oh, that was one? my son, y'all. Why y'all looking? Diana, I don't get Who's no that baby, no pussy, no nothing, no no nothing, baby, just hot. Oh, that was my son. 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 Oh, that It's not funny because at one point I thought she was going to change, though. Let's be completely honest, since we had switched the whole dynamic of the conversation and the whole attention to 21 and Demi. Let me think, Let me tell you something. I don't think that 21 is going to change. At one point, I thought she was going to change. I thought that she was going to be humbled. I thought she was just going to be like, you know, trying to get her shit together, trying to get them kids back, blah, 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 whatever the case may be. But then now it's just like, damn, is she forever going to be a drunk? Because 21 ain't never drank like she did before. Like, like she never drunk as much as she... You know what I'm saying? Like, all she did was smoke weed, as far as we knew. We didn't know. 
But she ain't never drink as much as she has. She has been drinking, 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 drinking. What? Okay, so. So, down <clears throat> And her boyfriend. I got Christmas of it. I got to cut it. Because, you know, you forget to record and you get on the phone and do slow shit and you realize you're recording. So, about my boyfriend, I feel like she ain't shit. She yes. ain't fucked up, bitch. That's why I beat your ass. I'm going to beat your ass and you come over here this weekend, ho. You don't never listen, bitch. And Savannah look like she likes him beating her ass. Like, she being through it. Like, why you want to beat me? Savannah liked that rough shit. She liked that rough shit, but then again, she's going to get tired of the disrespect. He is disrespectful. Very disrespectful. And he doesn't mind doing it publicly either so the world can see that he's disrespectful. He doesn't mind doing it. It's going to come to a point where she's going to end up losing the interest because she's going to feel like that she's not valued as a woman. And she's going to end up losing it. She's going to end up losing it. I think it's very much so embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. Um, and he's young, too. He's he's young. How old is he? Ain't he like 20-something? Nick, keep John. Oh God. So I don't know if you know, but last night they called on the house. They searched the house. Something happened with the house. And then, I don't know what happened. Something happened at the house. And it went from the police um, fucking with them, locking them up for no seatbelt. And they had to pay money to the cops, cash money, to get out for no seatbelt. That sounds like some racist shit. Well, how do we because actually do that? Because people said they called the jailhouse on live, and he was locked up for no extortion. What the fuck is extortion? Bitch, I'm slow. I don't know what extortion is. I'm talking about the last night for no T bill. What is that? I don't know what extortion is either, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, the cops were doing extortion. Okay. So, anyway, he got locked up for no season. They said it's true. It really happened. Um, Bond was $200. That was petty as fuck. <laughs> Well, he was he well he was out last night because when he got back to the house, um, he was looking for the seventeen thirty eight, and uh, the girl was you like, "Don't get um, that money, come down." It wasn't nothing but a shot up in there, or whatever. Yeah, he, he was like, "You think the female wants to jail for the female?" And I think that was so crazy. So it was white cops. They say it's a honky area he was in. He shouldn't have been in. So they just let motherfuckers know it's still some white dirty ass motherfuckers out here. Open your eyes or whatever, but. Second thing, somebody is snitching on Keith in that house. Somebody is playing games. Somebody around him is doing something. Because when he goes to the airport today, he get arrested for rape. But then he got released. Because they found out that the girl had the wrong time and Keith won where she claimed he was. She made a fake police report. And he had to miss his flight and he flew out today this evening. But my thing is, who knew what airline he was on? Who knew what time his flight left? How did they know exactly what time and what airline to go to to go pick him? That's a lie. But well, baby, we just saying what was told us. How they know exactly what airline to go to to pick him up? Who's running they fucking out? You know what's going to happen. I know. You okay. know what's going to happen. They are going to say that no, it was you. He, he know it wasn't me. They're going he to say that you because... were. No, but I'm. I, no, I'm just saying they are going to say that it was you with all these false First allegations, and they're going to they're going to include your listen. name in some kind listen. of shape, form, or fashion. They Watch what I tell you. He said, "Listen." Yes, he I'm said, just I telling you. Actually, because the person came in and filed on me in person. 
The girl was on the live post of it talking about it. He said he know for a fact this has nothing to do with me. Is somebody in that crib taking pictures of their guns, they liquor, they weed, and emailing it in? They said it's precious ebony and Brandon got somebody working inside that house. I don't know. It's an inside job, but they working for Brandon now. He know it ain't me, bitch, because I've been on live with a uh, cloud chaser with her back and forth. That's fucked up. It's fucked up. I have to I'm say it's fucked level. up. On some, oh yeah. I think it's time for Keith to just nip but everybody in a sense, hood and be by himself. He got his own clout. He got a good, a good, a good amount of money. It's time for him to just say fuck everybody and be by himself. It's okay to be by yourself, but shit, I be by myself. While all these motherfuckers going against me and shit, I stand by myself and I don't come out no type of way. Because if you don't, you don't know the trust no more. Motherfuckers, that's the truth thing. Motherfuckers will be hugging you and stabbing you in your back with a knife. And you don't much know it. There's too many motherfuckers. He, 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 he have loyalty with motherfuckers that was just his enemies. And I'm not trying to be messy. Keith just got to play his face. When it comes to hate, me and him are the same. Me and him are on the it's same level with the hate. The things people will do to try to ruin you. Mm -hmm. It's time for him to lay low. To it's, time him to lay low. it's time for him to lay low. It's time for him to. It's time. It's time for him to eliminate himself from a lot of people. Um, it seems like that he came, re I mean, for real, for real, at this point, like, I really would look back, I would do some self-reflection, and I'll look at everybody that's around me and just figure out, like, listen, I can't trust not now one of these hoes. Because ain't nobody gonna step out to the forefront and say, oh, yeah, I'm the one that's doing X, Y, and Z to get you locked up, or I'm the one that had called, or I'm the one that tried to get, you know, ain't nobody gonna step up and say any motherfucking thing. It's all gonna be exposed. At some when given I point... It's just going to be exposed, but I feel like he needs to eliminate himself big, from the scene. When I was big, and like take a step on back. When I had big numbers and shit, I was a shit. Everybody wanted to be in my corner. Everybody wanted to be around me. And the minute I went down, right. not everybody doubted me. So they definitely fucking with him because of what he can bring and what he gives and his survival and his numbers. It's definitely not genuine. Because they got Donnie on this app. You got other men on this app. And Cuddy, Scalp, none of these niggas that's hanging with Keith will fuck with none of these low number niggas or none of these other niggas. And, this, and, and niggas with low numbers real too. They only fucking with Keith because he's hype, he got numbers, and he got money. If he didn't have none of that, and his car died all the way down, and he was down on the level of Donnie, they wouldn't fuck with him. And I'm just being real. That's why I don't. That's why I don't think. That's why I don't think that Cuddy or Scalp of them are genuine friends to I Keith. So. I don't think so. And I, I just think that they're around him because of all the bitches that he can bring in and all these different events and all this traveling shit. Because for real, for real, like you just now said, when push come to shove, none of these niggas is gonna ride with him. Once you know his cloud dies, like, oh, they're I gonna move on to the so next nigga. I ain't not a genuine friend. She's just trying to cover her shit and get close so she can get close because she's still hurt about whatever he did for her. A year ago when she was hating him. I just feel like he needs to just rock with his congregation and do him and sit alone. He gonna fuck his hoes, fuck his hoes, how he been doing and keep everybody out his motherfucking business. Because everybody out to get something from him, but everybody want his fame, they want something. Because <clears throat> without him, they don't have no views. I'm just being honest. Without him, it's no problem. You know what gagged me the most last night, though, when I was on your live listening to that whole situation? Because you was in a car... While you was playing somebody's live off of a Shira's uh, phone. No, not the light when I, that's all. I, the computer when I, the light. Oh, I was like, bitch, what? <laughs> but you know what gagged me the most, y'all? And let's keep it real. Comment section, let's keep this shit the fuck real. Well, this is what right. gagged me. When Shaw G had told the police, he said, <laughs> we are huge broadcasters <laughs> Listen, 
Jesus. We are news broadcasters on this app. I said. Too much shit that ain't much being asked. We be broadcasting. We he don't be going. Look at my YouTube. We real big. Then a girl was from saying, it's my birthday, sir. Oh, it's people at the Airbnb. I don't know nobody. I don't know none of these people I'm with. She said, look, I just got here yesterday, and it's my birthday party. And I don't, I don't know, know nobody, nobody here. I, I, I don't what? know none <laughs> I was fucking confused. But see, Shaw G should have never said what he had said because now they're gonna be and they go they're they're they're, they're, they're gonna find like an interest into going on YouTube to see what's been going on with this specific, with this specific individual. They're gonna find all the things that he have ever said, all the things that he has ever done, all these allegations that Martha Beverly had put out there about him, and they're gonna try to do some investigation. Shaw G should have kept his motherfucking mouth closed. They should have just been I'm quiet, gonna, gonna let the police do what they Martha was gonna Beverly, do. Martha Beverly, when key found one out. That's like, yeah, the police don't go keep on. She was like, yeah, because he went to jail. You remember she said that? I was like, why would she say that? She don't know if he gone to jail and he ended up being in jail for real. Second thing is, no Shay, no T, brother, but I got to keep it real. They took Shaky to the last meeting and greet, and the feds was watching Shaky. The feds going to watch Shaky until the day they decide what they're going to do to Shaky. And the reason why they're going to watch Shaky the state got a fair oh God, you know what I even think, I even think about this. The state's going to follow him from state to state to make sure he not going to jump motherfucking uh, uh, whatever it is. So the feds was watching Shaky. The whole time Shaky drove from New Orleans through Alabama, through everywhere, the feds watched him. They watched him at their house and they watched him leave because they was going to see, was he trying to get away? Because if he tried to get away, they were going to arrest that ass. They know it was close. Shaky met with them when it was close time to his court day. So with that being said, hang with motherfuckers that got the feds watching them, shaking no shade, no see, I'm not being mean, I'm just being real. Hang with motherfuckers that got the feds watching them, and you know you got stuff going on, you gotta stay away from motherfuckers that got the feds watching them, that's not good. Because he got the feds on his trail, a lot of y'all got felonies. Then I was live on Bigo, they probably watching Shaky Handler, because Charlie's giving the feds shaking Bigo ID. And y'all all on live, man, they broke in my car, they stole my guns on my car, they just stole this shit, who got the weed? The feds probably be sitting there watching all y'all. So y'all gotta be real careful, y'all don't think. Y'all get mad at me, but bitch, I'm a motherfucking thinker. There's no way that Shaky got a fed case, and he get ready to go to court, and them feds ain't watching him jump state to state. They're gonna watch him because so someone, so when it's time for some people in the feds to go to trial, they will try to get on the boat and leave. They will try to escape. So they watch, they shake and jump state to state. And then don't think they ain't logging on their handler and was looking out in their house seeing what shaky had going on and shit. When you dealing with feds, they got to do whatever. And don't and don't be shocked if one of these bitches ain't the motherfucking feds and they got them just coming up in there just to see what's going on. That's how bad the feds is. Am I lying? Anybody that ever been around the feds? Un under undercover, undercover, undercover. So now, by them having felonies, and they undercover. be all live with the guns, with the weed at, y'all probably open up the shit for them to start watching y'all now. That's how shit go, that's how the game go. You gotta be careful who you fuck with. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them bitches was exposed to be the feds. I wouldn't be surprised. If they were sitting on the line, acting all pretty and sexy and sensual, just to get close enough to Keith Jones to figure out what the fuck is going on. They keep them not that deep, but shaky that motherfucking deep. And because shaky that fucking deep, it makes them fucking deep. That's like me Oof. dealing with a motherfucking affairs, right? They got a they, they're fucking with the feds, right? I'm that the motherfucker fuck with the feds. I get in right. his car and I start hitting leaks in his car. Knowing the feds watching him, that's the whole setup. Cause this my nigga I'm fucking with. My nigga mm -hmm. my nigga got a federal case and now I'm gonna start driving his car hitting leaks and shit. That's the whole setup. They're gonna watch anything involving him, everything around. To see if they can build up even more shit. 
Right. Mm. But like we stated earlier, Keith just needs to eliminate himself from everybody. From everybody. And do his own fucking thing. That's it. Yeah. That's all. It's it's too much. It, for real, for real, because I don't have any knowledge about the law and how the feds work and things of that nature because I ain't never, I ain't never been in no trouble before. But it's like, it's too much going on. This shit is way too deep. It's way too deep. It's getting deep by the link up. By the link up. Every motherfucking link up that they have ever motherfucking had has turned out to be bad. And it gets worse by the stupid. link up. Think about the first link up, what happened? The second link up, what happened? The third link up, what happened? Here it is, the fourth link up. Niggas getting pulled over by the police and shit. Then get to the airport, niggas getting locked up and shit. It's it, this shit is and getting to be honest, deep. To be honest, by the it link wasn't up. nothing going on at that thing. I mean, I didn't hear much about it. I didn't see much about it because I was on my own thing. But I think that was a pretty nice. I, that was a pretty nice outing. They was it was for out from his postmaster. And I think they had a different type of females this time. They didn't bring all the other little bitches that be on live and shit, showing shit on live. It was like a little closed thing or whatever. So I don't know where the motherfucking jealousy could come in and it's only some people I know that hate Keith that bad where they would go to the seats looking for his shit. And no shade, no see, but Precious said on my live the other day, her and Ebony is doing business. They decided to come cordial and we know what precious we on to. Who? I'm just being real. Precious Who? said what she precious said. And I told her, Martha. I said, well, me and Keith is cordial. She said on my panel the other day, she said, me and Ebony, business, business. I ain't got no beef with Ebony no more. It kind of stunned me. But I let her know what she is. Me and Keith good. How do you how do you really feel about that? Because we didn't need so many reports on L and so much shit for L. How could you? Because I can never see with that bitch. Because I know I I'm, I'm the reason why that hoe was homeless. I'm the reason why she in the hotel along with Precious is the fucking reason. I can't sit with a bitch knowing I didn't burn they bitch ass and I still a burn they bitch ass. I can't do it. Now I ain't never did nothing to keep personally. That's why I can always sit with him because I just roast that bitch grandma kids or whatever. I ain't never did nothing in real life to try to destroy his life. So I can always go over there because I ain't never fuck with his real life. But we fuck with Ebony real life. Precious a cold motherfucker to go over there and sit with her knowing we just fucked over these bitches so many ways. Do you think with you voicing this opinion about the relationship between Martha Beverly and Geraldine do you think that it's going to no, end y'all's friendship me, if you were to tell her this we survey? We, we tell each other how we feel. She know how I feel. I, I tell her she come right now. And she going to tell me what, every time I tell her about Martha Beverly, she tell me about Keith. And we go back and forth like that. So, I mean, Martha Beverly probably going to go live and say, Ooh, she jealous. She mad. She jealous about me and Precious. She going to try to make it more than what it is, but it ain't that deep. I just think, you know, bitch. How could you sit with this hoe? You know, we did everything to ruin this bitch together. We ruined this bitch. We ruined this bitch. I mean, but honestly, no shade though. I, I thought for real, for real all this time, I do I did think that Geraldine and Martha Beverly was cool. I, I did all this time. I didn't think that. I thought it was just like between them. It was just like, oh, bitch, I'm going to roast you one day the next day. Uh, hey, you know, I just thought it was like that. I never thought it was real deep. Between them, for real. I know. I guess because I wasn't watching so my too much. To Geraldine was, but um, if you can forgive Martha Beverly for putting out this so-called hit on your baby, and you can put this, you can forgive her for all the shit she did, giving people your address, sending people your way, because she I'm so few bundles over there and everything. You can forgive Keith. Keith ain't never sent nobody to jump on you. Yeah, and I, I'm going to say, if you, if you can forgive Martha, Martha Beverly, 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 then you can, then you can forgive. You so can definitely forgive Thurman. Thurman, I mean, Thurman did some shit, too. But 
You can, if you can forgive Martha Beverly, then you can forgive Your Thurman. No Thurman shade, you can. Half the shit Martha Beverly did. Right, right, right. You right. <laughs> keep name Thurman. So we can we can fuck the soul. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Right. Martha Beverly caught the laws and the feds on me. So with that being said, it's fuck Martha Beverly to the day she died. Thurman ain't never called no feds and no laws on me. Not one time. Not one time. No shame, not one time. I don't know. I, I don't know. You know what? We all we already can predict about. We can predict their relationship. So we go. We already know how it's going to go. Geraldine and Martha Beverly cool right now. In the next couple of weeks, Martha Beverly and and and, and Geraldine will be back at each other's necks. That's just what's going to happen. That's just that's I just. Think it's already she you can already see. It. Now. Let's get into the obvious. What's up with this thing between you and Jay? I think she cloud chasing. She got my picture. She been live about me all day. You come to Houston to visit your daughter. Really? You been live about me all day. You been going to everybody room doing interviews about me. Robert came to my lot to talk to me today. She was begging Robert, Robert, come over here, come over here. Robert was like, no. She went to Pumpkin Room. She did a whole world tour, baby. She thinks it's gonna get her back on the big old street. But this bitch don't know I'm not refunded because I'm gonna make that clock go back down to 63 motherfucking viewers. You in Houston visiting your daughter because <clears throat> the truth is, you didn't come to Houston to fight me. Your daughter lives in Houston. You come to Houston every other week. You were sitting at Turkey Leg Hood enjoying your dinner. You was up in there with us, Keo. You were sitting at Turkey Leg Hood enjoying your dinner. You was not even oh, yeah, I was there. you was the circle in the hood to enjoy your dinner and your breakfast. You weren't talking about me, you weren't doing nothing. Comments went and lied and told you I was on the way to beat you up. Then you started entertaining the comments saying what and the whole time the comments were saying, Ashley, go beat her up, she had circle in the hood. What did I say? I'm not going over for five o'clock. Didn't I keep up? I thought I'm not going to go yeah, fight nobody. I'm right here in the bed. I'm scared. I'm scared. Well, well, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because you switched up your words maybe 15 times during that live, during that during that moment. At first, I was like, because I asked you. I said, well, what motherfucker club started at 3 o'clock in the motherfucking afternoon? You talk about, so, oh, it's a day club. I'm going to the day club. Then he was like, no, nah, I ain't going to wait until no 5 o'clock. Then now nah, I'm going to go get me a shirt. Then now nah, I'm going to. Ashley, you switched up your words so many motherfucking times yesterday. It but made no sense. Wild. First, it was like, I'm going to whoop this bitch's my, ass. And it was like, no, nah, I ain't going to whoop nobody's ass. I'm, I'm why, confused. Why, why like, which one was it? I said, because y'all was coming on my page, saying I'm going to go fight, and you was doing the most, and you going to get my page then. I said, don't come on here tell me I'm going to go fight. I told all y'all. Oh, because... Oh, because... uh. I said they're gonna turn in my page and stop coming up here like Can I'm gonna say it? Do this. Yeah, that's all about yeah, because yeah, the agency. I just wrote a letter with bad yes. like and signed out with a new dollars on my fucking page. That's why I said stop doing it. And you was like, Ashley, I know you ain't gonna go fight her. Then it look came over. I'm like, look, y'all, I'm not gonna go fight Jim Bolo. I said, I'm not gonna go fight. I'm gonna go buy me a shirt. <laughs> well, that was because I just walked into the room and then when I sat right there for a little bit, that's when I kept I was like, oh, she about to go fight who? Man, come on, that fighting shit is back when we was younger, baby. We way too old. We got shit going on. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. You ain't gonna be fighting, baby. Listen, uh-uh. Hell, motherfucking out. I went. I stopped and got me a shirt from Rainbow. They didn't have no shirt, so I said, fuck Rainbow. I went and got my lashes sick. While the bitch gave me five minutes to get there, and I say 30 minutes away. And then I went to give me something to eat while I was on the phone with Look for A Plus. And then, bitch, I went on. And since they told me she was by there, I said, Dad said, I want to ride by and see, but I guess during that time, she said she had to go take care of her kids. So, bitch, I went on to my club. So, let's be clear. Let's be clear. 
This is all over allegedly you saying that you wish that her daughter's no, head I got blown her out. Bitch out a year ago. No, this year. I thought I blew it out. Oh, but you want to know why? Because, see, y'all don't know why. Me, her, Nicole. And okay, so explain. Did you want to let me talk? Okay, so. Yeah, Nicole, I was elaborate. Go ahead, so go ahead. Was sneaking behind my back, fucking with her friend. That was going on dates and everything, secret relationship. So when we all got into it and I found out, Jazzy Cherry was on the phone talking shit. Telling me to go take care of my motherfucking kids and about my kids and how and all the shit Nicole told her about my kids was talking about my kids. So then when the bitch seen me and trying to be live, she started being messy. And so I hollered about what Nicole talked about my kids. So I ate them hoes up. Because first of all, I'm mad. How a bitch I laid with for two years talking to my kids, talking about my kids to you hoes. And you always sitting on here talking about my fucking kids. So, bitch, take that little bald head motherfucker and while you at it, blow her shit out. And I said what I said, bitch, because they talked about my son while he was in the hospital down with COVID. And Nicole supposed to talk about him too and said she didn't give a fuck if he died, she didn't like him. So, hell, y'all was in my bag. All their kids could have died from this shit. I said it and I said it again. Blow that bitch head off. Since it was high, high, bitch, your son almost died with COVID. You was on the phone bumping, bitch. See, y'all don't know we had a whole argument on the phone with Nicole because Nicole was. Fucking with this bitch trying to keep her on the low and fucking me. And keeping this bitch on the low. And she wanted to be, I mean, the girl wanted to, wanted to call to tell me they was in a relationship. And the call didn't want me to find out. So we ended up mm. every was on the phone. We First of all, can we, can, we, can, we, can we throw in a little bit Jay right here? Sherry got on three way and hopped up bitch ass in it. Can we, can, we, can we throw in a little something really quick? Like, in, like right there and, there and right there what you just said. First, let me make it very clear that I have no problems with Cole of whatsoever. Love Cole's energy. I love her vibe. I love everything about Cole No Shade. But why is she so comfortable with telling your business about your kids? Everybody, all this everybody, everybody the girl this. Gina, all her bitches, all her friends, Belle, everybody, her sister, because other people come and tell me back, man, she tell all my business to all of them. Because I think this is the fourth, the third time this week. Well. I'm 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 including last week too. This is the third ter the third the third time you have said that she had went back and told your kids business to other random people who don't even fuck with you. I guess they come for her to sit on the phone to talk about Like why is she so comfortable with doing and it? And she don't be knowing that that's how the internet bitches wanna do is get see. So they can go back and tell Trina B and that's what happened. They would tell Trina B everywhere she said about my kids. Back into you and Jazz and Cherry. Okay, well, it's crazy how she picked the perfect time of the month to go visit her daughter, which is, you know, the time where it's almost, you know, quota time. We got to get our quota, <laughs> no, our goals, no, no. our she hours, and the stuff. But she picked the perfect time. Wait a minute. She come to Houston and visit her daughter all the time. But it's even fun if she waited until this week. Around this time? No, she Around come this time of the month? This nigga started blowing up my phone. Hold the fuck up. Because I don't much date him or nothing. The fuck you blowing me up like this? Okay. She comes to see her daughter like every other Who's week. Who's that, Jordan? So she didn't be here since I told her to show her daughter in the head. She didn't be, she didn't be here several times since I didn't say anything. And never once. So why, why, why choose this time? Because people Why choose this thing. time to come on a fight? Ashley lie. Ashley lie. Go get Ashley. Go get Ashley. And I was in my bed, remember? I was like, I ain't going nowhere. I'm tired. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Mm-hmm. Because I wasn't into it. Yeah. But I promise you, if I would have been like I be when I go pull up on everybody else, fuck your bitch putting up my hair, throwing on regular ass clothes, getting keys, getting motherfuckers loaded up. 
it would have been a whole different thing. But because my energy went up and I went like, pull up, bitch, I'm out my way, ho. She was, you know, like just really taking it, taking advantage of it. What does that show? So how did this I let y'all talk to him in a minute. I think it's her storyline because she's going on a world tour. Pumpkin. And her, you know, she did a pull up on pumpkin. A fake pull up on pumpkin. No, pumpkin cool shit, pumpkin box doing tours. She wanted me to do a, 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 a interview with her and Dre Baby last night. Jazzy Cherry, why do you want me to do an interview with you and Dre Baby last night? She came in my room last night for me to do an interview with her and Dre. I seen it. I seen it. I was there. So the thing about it was, if you were, if you, I, I obviously was paying attention, but Dre Baby was clearly playing in your face. He was clearly playing in your face. Because he was like, mm mm, Ashley. Why was you coming in my room? I'm going to go to Am I? He said, mm mm, Ashley. I seen the whole thing, Ashley. You, uh uh-uh, uh, girl. You did a little X, Y, and Z. Da, 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 da. He was pretty much playing in your face, calling you a punk without calling you a punk. But I was sitting there looking like, did you even hear Ashley out first? Like, the reason why she didn't fight this girl? And then what pissed me off is that both of y'all cameras said went flatline. I'm like, this got to be a storyline. It is a storyline. It's got to be a storyline. But it went wrong. It's the bitches that don't like me. They want to have some up on me so bad. They want to swear that I seen her. I ran down the street. She chased me. Bitch, my fat ass not running nowhere, bitch. Okay? Oh, you seen her. She chased you. You ran. You hide. You in your house hide. Bitch, I step out on the weekends. Anybody watch me? All my supporters know. Every Sunday I go to Dreams. And what did I go Sunday, y'all? What did I go Sunday, supporters? What was I at yesterday? What was I at yesterday, supporters? Dreams. Keisha, she didn't say, Keisha, she didn't say that she shot them. She said that she had pulled a gun out and they was like, I oh, no, we don't that type of time. On yesterday, clubbing. Two minutes away from Turkey Leg Hood, I was right there. No background on, enjoying myself. That's why I go every Sunday and I'm going to continue going up. No stop. So did you see a nigga in the club kissing my face? No, but I was looking at that motherfucking dark skin dude with the dress with the motherfucking front of his mouth. Oh, I was I like, him. damn, the one with the long face. He on my Facebook. Baby, he was fine. I said, you who like was that? Mm. I love dark skin niggas. Love them. Especially if they have dreads in love with them. Love it. Live for it. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, you know what? I'm kind of sort of deflected from the situation right now because I'm just floored. Not floored, but I'm appalled that you and Jazzy Cherry you going through something like this. Let me grab my headphones I because I got to turn my AC on this and pull out. You should be proud of me, bitch. Because I would have never thought that you and her would get into it this bad to the point where y'all about to pull up and fight each other. Like, my thing. Hold on, I'm trying to hear her. Buddy, come get these Doritos and his cheese and wrap it up. Okay, perfect. Um, because my thing is, um, And I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real because one thing about it is that we, you know, we talk about everybody's drama and nobody's drama is excluded. Um, so my thing is, like, why was it so important to pull up on you because you said you was going to blow her daughter's head off when 
it was another individual who physically put their hands on your daughter. Um, because it was clearly stated in the YouTube video that you played earlier today that when the daughter had spit on Herman, I mean on Herman. um on Thurman, um, when the daughter had spit on Thurman or whatever, Thurman jumped over the fence and chased chased her and just tipped her because she was running too fast and then she fell on her face. So why didn't y'all look to get him first versus you know, you know what I'm saying? Like why was your situation much more important versus that one? You just I'm said that. You didn't physically do anything. No but was it like a pick and choose situation? I think it's because I didn't give no energy to it. If I would have gave energy and China Red would have came out like I used to do Elb Mill, I think her whole attitude would have been different. Because Jazz is scary, is definitely scary. When Buffy knew was going to her ass, she's scarier than a motherfucker. If I would have been like, oh, bitch, I'm on my way. Let me call my motherfucking cousin. Bitch, I'm on my way. Stay up, bitch. If I would have been given that energy, she wouldn't have been there. But because I was like, girl, I'm just going to fuck you, bitch. I'm going to go to the club, enjoy myself. Bitch, she was out there flexing and da 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 da. Mm hmm. So it definitely gave the storyline. Did you kind of feel like a little bit intimidated because the husband was there? No. Like, did you kind of feel like if it was just her? I could have called somebody if I want the husband and her touch. They in the hills and downtown right now. I can get them touch now. I'm just not being bothered. Because right. what I don't get about Because you, I do me I do remember you when you had mentioned. You tell me, all y'all talk to me and tell me to stop doing certain things. And then when I stop, now y'all want to be like, okay, so why you didn't do it? But no, but tell me and tell me. No, 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 I'm not asking that. I'm asking that because of what you said yesterday. What you said yesterday was that the reason why that you really felt like that you needed to pull your G and win out was because the husband was approaching you. So do you feel like it would have been a different situation if the husband wasn't there and it was just. Oh, 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 I had to catch, I had to catch the boat. I got you. I had to catch the boat. Okay. I had to catch the boat. Okay. Now I got, you know, motion sickness from the water. Okay, the waves. You know, I don't like doing cruise ships. I don't do cruise ships at all, bitch. That's why I ain't never went on one. <laughs> That's the reason why. Okay. I'm real life and security, honey. My guns are real. My license is real. I don't run around doing that now. I'm not no ghetto ass tech. I'm going to pull my gun and tell me for a reason. If I pull that bitch for a reason, I'm going to shoot that bitch. I don't like shooting people. I don't have no reason to shoot people. I'm not putting no GVN. And that's it. My gun is made to protect me and my children and my family. And that's it. Bitch, my gun is not made to take the pull up. My gun is not made to point at people. My butt gun is not get made to intimidate people. That's how you lose your life to catch a fucking fed case. You know, I mean, it's a case. I'm not fucking around like that. Mm -hmm. Reach the part of my part of it two days ago. I'm done. I don't want no deal. That's all my blood support. Period. You know what was the epic part of it? The epic part was when, <clears throat> um, and I'm not going to say any names, but when a specific individual had switched devices and then they had flipped the camera over and in the passenger seat, it was a GUN and a bottle of pills. And the next thing you know, it was an instant, like, clip. I was like, oh, this shit is real. This shit is real. I said, oh, my God. Well, you know, <laughs> that significant person, what's her name? Uh, I think it was, uh, was it Christine no, Jones? Nice. Yeah, Christine. I thought it was. Is, are we talking about who? Martha no, Beverly, Beverly, Geraldine, Deborah Jean. Oh, okay, Deborah Jean. Okay, so Deborah Jean always carried this block. Yeah, she was the one that carried this block. Mm -hmm. Everywhere she goes. Everywhere. You got one in the house with her spot, lock box where they should be. And she carried one in the corner of the side at all times. But Deborah Jean's gonna always have her. Mm -hmm. And it has nothing to do with social media. Deborah Jean got shot in 2012. This Deborah Jean, Jean got her license and she carried that gun. And she got shot in 2012. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, she's definitely, she's definitely. Okay, so listen, up oh, noon, there was Jean found somebody oh, she liked. <sighs> no, real life. No, 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 no tears, no fake shit. Honestly, my it's opinion not, is this. Person, I think that Deborah Jean person. and I I just think that Deborah Jean needs to slow down. I'm not in a and with fix Deborah themselves. Deborah Jean not in a relationship with this person. <laughs> Deborah Jean just wants to tell you she met somebody. This person is very nice and they're better than the meaning of life. I didn't Deborah Jean didn't say she went high. I know. But she gonna take her time with this one. Oh, so is this so is this the Sagittarius? California. Yes! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, honestly, uh <clears throat> let me just be let me just give you my personal opinion about what I feel that Jordan should do. I feel like Jardine shouldn't move too quick with this. I mean, not Jardine, shit, Deborah Jean. Um, I feel like that Deborah Jean should just fix themselves first and then try to get deep into it. Because let's be clear, Deborah Jean got a lot of shit going on. Deborah Jean got the health issues, you know. Deborah Jean got other things going on too. So I feel like Deborah Jean need to focus on herself first before she even think about dating somebody else. Because the last what? thing that you want to do, wait a minute, hold on. The last thing, the last thing that you want to do is to be a burden, right? Right, but you're not listening. So you, you be taking over, bitch. Deborah Jean been single. No, <laughs> I'm no, I'm just giving you my own personal opinion. Okay. At this point, we we all know that your name is Deborah Jean. So let's go ahead. Deborah Jean been single for two years. Deborah Jean have been working on herself, but Deborah Jean didn't say I'm gonna marry the, the person. I didn't say the person gonna be my girlfriend. I just said I met someone that I'm gonna give a chance to get to know me and vice versa. Okay, so question, so question, question. How long <clears throat> have Deborah Jean? How long has Deborah Jean and the Sagittarius we been don't talking? Have how long? On, we'll Approximately. Do not leave. That's why I said talking. That's why I said Not talking. So how long? Because I'm gonna keep this private. Well, okay. So how do you know that that person is better than your I, ex? Okay. Well, how do you know that that person is better than your ex? Because you know, in the very beginning of a talking situation, they always make it seem no, like that they're good they, people, no, right? No, I'm talking about four ex. The physical. Um. Physical. What they do for a living, the way they speak, how they handle their stuff, the questions they answer, how they're very independent, they're not chasing family, they very. Oh, hold on. Jesus, fix it. Hold on, this 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 my psychic. He might be getting ready to tell me about my new love. Oh my god! You guys, we're super close to that fourth star. It looks like all that we need is maybe. Let me see. I'm looking. Maybe all we need is just three K. You guys, three K, three trophies. If you guys could throw any hats, any beans, this is, is a good thing to me. No shade. You if you guys have about? any exclusive tickets. Or any free well, gifts, you you're more than welcome to drop them over here, you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I'm about to do it after this show, Chris. What happened? Oh, you want to come up here and do it after this show? Who, who invited other people to Cali? Me? Who? What? But I'm, what am I missing? Somebody says, I, I guess she be inviting other people to Cali. Thank you, K Cutie. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Pooh.
Okay, so I guess they're not going to say next week. I mean, so how do you feel, Deborah Jean, with this with this new situation? Do you think it's going to be a successful situation? Um, do you think because I have heard you say so many times that uh -uh, I'm not I'm not very much so gay? You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about this? I don't know how I feel. I don't have no feelings for nothing right now. Do you have just like mixed emotions about yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, because just like we had talked about when we was in Atlanta, you remember the next day when I had called you and I was like, I'm going to lose my mind. And you was like, yo, you just like me. You just like me. Y'all going to go through this and you're going to be right back with your ex because you have a soft spot for them. So how do you feel? Like, do you feel like it's going to be that same situation? Or do you think that you're going to be far gone from that? Like, you just... I realized my ex... Over it. Playing games. Been playing games. And I just... I knew it and I didn't want to see it. You know, you don't want to see what's up before your eyes. She been playing games and she been doing her and that and that. And I didn't want to see it because I wanted to believe in us, but she don't believe in us because if she did, all this wouldn't happen. So I didn't went through my point of, okay, I'm over you to the next day. <laughs> and then the next day, okay, I'm over you to the next day. <laughs> and then the next day, this and then the next day, and when I realized my ex was a dog ass bitch, that's why she got dogs by her name and she don't do whatever she can to hurt me. That's her goal. I don't pay her no attention no Even when she go live, I don't look in the window. I really on go. I don't look in her window. I don't do nothing no more. So if she got a bitch fucking on live, I wouldn't even much know because I just try my hardest to just blue pie my mind so I can't move. All right. Well, well said. Well said. Um, Next subject. Next subject. Um, let's get into Leah switching up on you. Leah. Leah. Mm -hmm. When? Comment section. D Comment section. Because yeah. mm. it seemed like she had a lot to say about the little shing ding that happened yesterday between Deborah Jean and Jazzy Cherry. <laughs> Am I the only one that caught that? I mean, a lot of them switched up on me, including the bitch that fell here every day, all day. A lot, a lot of them switched up on me. So, I mean, that's cool because I hear a lot about Leah, but I just don't care to feed into it because she's looking for clout, another person. And I wasn't her friend. It's just that pumpkin baby to be cordial with her, so I did it for pumpkin. That's a little girl. Leah, not my age or in my age bracket, so I don't expect for her to stay down or be down. <coughs> right. Um, because... I think it was something that Trina B was playing this morning with Leah. Who was who was she talking about? For one, y'all. Who was she talking about when Trina B had played that little clip? Queen Vic. But she also had a lot to say about the situation between her and um between Deborah Jean and Jazzy. But that was just probably her own personal opinion. I kind of felt like it was a switch up because of the, the energy that was put into what she was saying. But then it was just her own personal opinion about the situation though. What? I didn't know I didn't know that her and Queen Vic was still back into it for what? Oh, uh, bones? Okay. Cause cause wasn't they arguing over a nigga that isn't with neither one of them right now? Who arguing over nigga? Oh, she was mad that the admins kicked her. Who was Deborah Jean? Queen Vic started it. Oh, Queen Vic oh. was like, oh, wasn't ever pregnant. Right. But was it Queen Vic the one with the HIV and was messing with Greedy? Queen, I thought Queen Vic is a woman. 
Queen Vic is a transgender. But how is she giving Leah a pregnancy kiss that she pregnant? They said Queen Vic was pregnant and gave Leah a pizza piss on the stick. Queen Vic is a woman. Well, she look She's like pregnant. a man. She's a she woman? She's pregnant right now by greedy. <gasps> but she not HIV, is she, y'all? Who was the one that was HIV that had pepper sprayed Leah at the damn club? Y'all remember that? Who was that? That's greedy. Other is Vicky. Vicky is HIV. So that's not Vicky Queen Vic. Lynn, two different people. Oh, okay. Kyo, shut the fuck up. You got your shit fucked up. Okay. Queen Vic, please don't read me. That was okay, Kyo. because Kyo, I, Queen Vic, that was Kyo. Uh uh, it wasn't me, girl, because I got confused, sister. Listen, I don't know you. Did, look, mm -mm, don't come over here. Don't you, don't you tiptoe but your Leo way over here, baby. Ain't by no room Why for you. She asked another bitch that was fucking her nigga for piss. But why are they asking for piss, though? Because she wants to frame a nigga for a baby or something. Do you think that Wish McCauley really Ooh. pregnant? They said she might. It came out. She might. She used to pee and that's why she she's pregnant. Really. That's a big argument is going on. <sighs> that's why I'm like, that's why I'm not pregnant for cloud. Opinion, you know I mean? When she got to deal with the tabloids, you know, her ass is like pregnant. Well, I did see in the best of social media, they had posted a picture that you can, because um, I didn't even know you could do this. But Amazon apparently sells fake pregnancy tests and sonograms. I, no, like, I, no, look, I made a sonogram, sonogram for the on baby my page moving the other day, and stuff. On live. Remember? When you weren't paying attention, I downloaded an app and made a sonogram. I put my name and stuff on it, put Big O Hospital. And. <laughs> You put a big old hospital on? Hospital, yes. I made a sonogram in front of everybody on live. I downloaded the app and I made a sonogram. <laughs> and it showed that I was eight months pregnant with twins. <laughs> According to the date you pick, that's how big they make the baby. If you put you in the early in the week, you'll get a little small baby. I made a sonogram yesterday. You look so real. No shade. Let's get real deep into it. I can't stand with women fake being pregnant just for attention or just to keep a nigga because what you fail to realize is that you're doing something detrimental to yourself like say for instance if you really do get pregnant then you lose your baby like don't put that so curse on yourself don't put your curse on another Leah, life like that that's Leah, fucked Leah, up Leah, it is she stay with Yutta. Leah used to be doing her hair and her stomach would be hard and poking out and they'll be like Leah you pregnant you pregnant she like no shut the fuck up I just ate So she been at a little good whenever she gets pulled. She gets a little good. That is intense. That's crazy. I mean, hey. If that's what you feel like it's gonna float your boat, bitch, go ahead and motherfucker use it and do it. That's that's it. You know what I'm saying? You do what's work, what work best for you. No shade. I, oh, yeah, I have nothing fibroids. to say about okay, it. Don't think about me. I, I know that if I was a woman, I wouldn't put that curse on myself. I wouldn't put that curse on myself if I was a woman. I wouldn't lie about me being pregnant to keep a nigga. I wouldn't lie about being pregnant to get gifts. I wouldn't lie to say that I'm pregnant just to get some attention. Yeah, well, That's just like, some shit that I wouldn't do. I feel like that is... Bitch, I ain't say it. <laughs> I ain't say it. I'm just saying. I, I just wouldn't do it. I That's just something that I would do that I wouldn't do if I was a woman. I wouldn't do no shit like that. Hell motherfucking out. At all. At all. Was, no shit. Don't the people buy um, food but, and vitamins uh, for the little baby already? Why are you asking me like I know? I thought it was a cash mm, out. Uh, no I shit about it. Was <laughs> Thank you, booty. Mm. I don't know. I mean, and if they are, 
that's fucked up and legal. You need to get them motherfucking people their money. Well, back. you know, you know, they like to get their money, me Jews and abuse. They won't help a real bitch out. <laughs> we can't get okay, no help. Okay, listen. We never get help, baby. Down boots. Yeah, they do. Like they. Let's speak about the ten thousand dollars that's already gone. You know, I tell y'all, it'll be gone in four days. And it ain't even I been. I them do this before I'm parasite. It ain't even been a motherfucking month yet. So, why is all that money gone? First and foremost, why didn't you get the money and flip it? He's a crackhead. He's first a crackhead. First of all, and then first of all, why didn't you give that lady her motherfucking money back for helping he's you out? Homeless, you know what I'm saying? Why didn't you give her her part? He's a homeless crackhead. Well, apparently he ain't that homeless because he back at Shan Shan's. He back with Shan Shan's? He took a shower over there the other day. And Greg went over to AJ's house to expose that he's still back over there. Now that I do know. That I do know. Greg went over there to AJ's live and told everybody in AJ's live that he was back over there at Shan Shan's house. Surely did. Where that's did he go take? He took a shot with his grandma's house, okay, but he, but Greg did go over there to AJ's live and said that. He did say that he was back over there at Shan Shan's. Greg probably lied. <laughs> Do you think Greg lied about the whole HIV accusations? Well, let me see what happened. Because Greg... I was the first one to notice they had, oh, yes. that they had HIV. It seems like you're the first to know every motherfucking thing. Go ahead, it's on It's on a motherfucking YouTube. I noticed he stopped going to playoffs. I mean, he would go to playoffs in the twice a week. And I noticed he wasn't going to playoffs when my mom was great uh -oh. with And I said, hey, why are you not going to playoffs with you HIV positive nigga? But I was joking. So he called me on the phone with Nelson one night. He's yeah. like, yes, I need to talk to you. He's like, how you know I got HIV? I said, what? He said, how you knew I said, because you're not going to playoffs. And he's like, yeah, Greg gave it to me. But Greg still going to give playoffs. Still to today. But I got to be real. Not only was he fucking Greg, he was fucking married me and he was escorted. Because one time on Periscope, we listened to a man fuck him for four to five hours straight. A swole ass, fine ass, married dude fucked him for four to five hours straight. And they tried to spray down the room because it smelled like pure shit because shake face, then clean himself. And he screamed and moaned the whole night while the dude penetrated his ass. Like the dude was on the X field and he fucked him all night. And he was ashamed because the room oh kind of like do that. Oh my god. So we didn't see him get fucked. Like like we he put on the phone while he fucked. Ew. Look at Mama Jean come up for real for real. You remember that Mama Jean? I thought like, this this nigga woke him out from morning time, from night time to morning time. He met him on the deck. He fucked him. He was a big, old ass nigga. He fucked him all in the middle of marriage. And Tay was embarrassed. The room smelled like shit. And they was trying to spray all the type of shit. And then he said, Tay, after those, and Tay was like, well, I need to find me somebody else. He didn't pay me anything. Oh, God. Do you see how small he is? And his skin is gray. All three, he was blowing up on his medication. But you know what they told him? Do y'all remember we went we, we, we to the hospital on Big O, y'all? And the doctor told him he's going to start taking his medicine. They're going to give him one year to live. Do y'all remember that? Because you know when you smoke crack with HIV, that's not a good thing with AIDS. Because he don't have HIV, he have full blown AIDS. Yeah. What? Then do you know that for a fact, Ashley? Mm hmm. He has four blonde Is that a factual age, thing? Age supporters, he don't have HIV. He has four blonde The doctor told him, they, they was like, John Faye, if you don't start taking your medicine, buddy, you, you'll be dead by next year. He was live on Beagle when they told him this. Wow. He don't have HIV. He had HIV when he first found out. Tay does not take his medicine. His medicine is in the shed, and purse along with he a full blown AIDS. You can ask all the Periscope people. He was full blown before he came over here. Well, 
Well, the reason why the Greg says that he doesn't have HIV is because he goes to the plasma center to donate money. Yeah, and he does. Money. He does. So and I don't understand because knows. they don't use rubber. And Greg be saying that, and they be having sex and sucking dick and kissing and making love. Well, see, we 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 don't we don't we don't know that they don't use rubbers. That's something that we don't know. So we don't know if that's an actual fact. We don't know that. Let we can only go question. by what has been told. If you go okay. look up on the internet, okay. Magic Johnson gave blood because he was under test. He gave blood. He he, okay. he he he's the face of the blood drive. So is you sure he's not under test? Is he just giving blood because he's under test? Let me tell you something. You must be a fucking dummy to think that Magic Don Magic Johnson shit. Magic Johnson still has AIDS. I mean HIV. You must he be a dummy to think that. And let me tell you why. He's so good on his medicine, you cannot find it in him. He has it, but he's so undetectable. He let me it. tell you why. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. If you don't think that people with money. There is a cure for HIV. It's a cure. Like, just like it's a cure for every motherfucking thing that's out here lingering right along with that. There's a cure for HIV. This man is filthy fucking rich. If you don't think for one second that he may have some ties in with Dr. What is his name? Sabi or Sabai that knows the cure for HIV. That was the reason why that they killed Nipsey Hussle, right? Because he knew some shit and some information he was going to expose it. Nick Cannon was just recently... Nick Cannon recently was just about to do a whole fucking documentary and was going to tell every motherfucking thing. But what ended up happening? What, what ended up happening? Left Eye 2. What? Nick Cannon did? Yeah. No. What they ended up doing was they, I, they ended up threatening him to not do it. But everybody that's, they get ready to do it, they kill them off. They set them up. Y'all thought Nipsey got killed by a gangster. Anybody. Mm -hmm. Anybody that get ready to do a documentary about <laughs> HIV or how anything can be cured, they get done off. Done off. So, what do you mean? So if you think for one second that Magic Johnson still has HIV, come on now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And that's just my own personal opinion. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Okay. Mm. Okay, so this Really? The <laughs> bitch is just gagging. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Leah, baby. I thought Nipsey Hussle got killed behind some gangsters. <laughs> no, ma'am. Comment section, if you agree with me, put a number one in the comments. No, ma'am. About Nipsey Hussle, y'all. No, ma'am. Oh, they don't agree. They said number two. No, ma'am. That was a cover-up. They wanted you to think that the reason why Nancy Hustle got killed was because of some gang shit. That was a cover-up. Nipsey Hustle was very much so knowledgeable. That man studied so many different things outside of anything that you would think that he would be interested in. That man knew so fucking much. Knew so much. And I think he was about to expose some shit. He was going to tell some shit. Okay, fine. I'm going to take right this was to another direction. Do how do you feel about Kevin Gates breaking up with Zika and cheating with the third trainer and he been cheating on her for the long Kevin Gates is a hoe. But Drika do one fuck up and a hoe. I niggas cannot take what they did try. Oh, they back together? Okay, well get Let me back together. Okay. Oh, okay, because I was about to say he's a hoe. I mean, did you see how he had put who was the one? Is it Summer Walker? She the one with the piercing right here and the tattoos. She got a piercing right here, right? And then Summer Walker. 
Summer Walker had a show or something like that or whatever the case may have been. And she was at the, it was a video that was on Facebook that went viral. So of course they're going to go viral. They're celebrities. But it was a video on Facebook not too long ago where he tried to push up on her at the club. And she swung her hair and she was like, she was sitting down. She had on like a, it was like a bikini top or whatever, but she was bomb as fuck. And he tried to push up on it and she was like, Real? He's a hoe. <clears throat> He's a hoe. She swerved him. Boots. Swerved him. You see her for like so beautiful. She Niggas. said she would never be with nobody else again. I just don't see how she could do this. I could see. I could see. I could see how she can do it. I mean, especially if you, if you're mentally involved, emotionally involved, physically involved with a person who you know so much about. And you gotta think about it. Nipsey Hussle, y'all think that he was in this gang shit. That man knew a lot of fucking shit. Like, I don't think that with the amount of shit that she knew about him and what he knew about, I don't think that she could I don't, I don't even see how she could be with somebody else after, after that. He was fine. With her knowing the reason why he got killed. He fine as hell. Mm-mm-mm. Nipsey is so fine. Yes. Ooh, and I, I, y'all know what? No shade. Don't get offended. But I didn't know shit about Nipsey Hussle. When he died, that's when I finally knew him. And I started looking him up. I was like, damn, he fine. What the fuck he did? It. He fine, fine, fine. Nipsey ain't got no butt. He ain't have no butt, so I wasn't interested. Like he was just flat front and back. Like he, um, <laughs> you gotta have well, like, a, you know, you gotta have, like a set of cakes know, back there for me. To... I wanna know why. <laughs> why is that is I need to make a lot of money to get you and Jesus with the bad bitch. No, get on his ass with the bad bitch. No, it's short, short. I do not want to be you gotta have, rubbing you gotta on have no booty like... that's flapping on top of me when it's hitting me. No, fuck this shit. Mm. Uh uh, no shame, no ass, you know. Like, you know, I feel like for women, a man with a fat ass is a good thing because, you know, why y'all fucking missionary? You could just take his ass cheeks and just push him deeper in you. But what niggas need to understand is that your ass cheeks be clapping while you hit me that way. No shame. I be. <laughs> I'm nasty. Anyway, let's just get over that topic of conversation. Let's get somewhere else. No, I won't. If a nigga ass. I'm gonna rub yeah, and feel straight back with a little crack. <laughs> you don't know. No, if a nigga you don't know what's clapping like, while he hitting you, missionary. And if his booty jiggling and fat, I don't. But how do you know that it's clapping if you laying on your back? My booty barely fat, fat. I lost my ass when I got away. Okay, so if you so if you laying on your back with your legs wide open, missionary style, and he fucking you real good, how would you be able to tell if his ass cheeks was first clapping? About, first when about, we be first watching about, these straight first pornos, about, well, I fuck anybody. I'm digging and I'm looking for everything, bitch. And I hope you dig and you look at mine too. I like to look and dig, bitch. I like to see what it looks like. All up in there, bitch. I, I like to get right. out of there. If I can't look at you naked and it gotta be dark and you gotta have a shirt on every time we fuck, bye, bitch. I don't give a fuck about no poop or none right. of that hoes. Show that poop or show them rolls, bitch. We here together, ho. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> oh, look who it I'm is. I haven't seen your name. I haven't seen your name all night. A lot of these bitches are saved because of the new surgery we have, the BBL, the lipo, and all of this. But if we wasn't having it, all you hoes would be having y'all then. Y'all fail your life and all that shit. I think when a woman has failure your life and this and shit, they just show your wounds as a real woman. And I think these days, the way these transsexuals getting BBLs like these bitches, it's kind of good to kind of keep your failure your life and your strength more so shit so motherfuckers can know you're a woman. But these days, bitches fix themselves, and now when they see a bitch with a body, they ask you, are you a real motherfucking woman? So, bitch, I like the fact that niggas know I'm a 100% woman because I got a dent in my ass. Or dent up my thigh, something like that, or some type of war room with mm -hmm. the woman. Well, Everybody speaking of uh, stretch marks, and that, I ain't trying to be speaking, 
speak speaking of stretch marks and cellulite and titties hanging out to knees flapping doing crisscross jumping jacks motherfucking double dutch um what what what's the status of you and messy steph's relationship um we're both men we both talk about each other i drag because she dragged me when we see each other we see you like how i threw that in right she violated junior and junior is my friend and i don't want to make junior feel uncomfortable again I mean, the first time he never got over it and with that being said like it's i mean i don't have anything to say to her the internet i speak to her in real life you know junior my nigga so with that being said i can't fuck her on that level because she played with junior I think that whole situation was just fucked up and, and Junior wasn't even doing that to the like way that he she, feel she about really like that's like she wants to get Junior killed. Make it up, that bitch dangerous. Like she don't realize it. And she don't realize why like, she had a bag. This is a karma bitch. She don't think about all this shit. Like, look, I'm a gay man, I'm black. So you stop saying I was trying to get on cutting now. She thought it was funny. You was, you was, you was, but he was dead serious when he was asking. Do you think that she's a do you think that she's a menace to society? What you mean? Like, you know, she's a menace to the L. She's a menace to society. She's a menace to society. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Messy stuff. Okay, I just, stuff. you know, I just be. Man, it's really hard when, when a bitch is messy. It's really hard to take them. Because, bitch, you got to know what messy is. I'm not messy. I'm just a right. bold bitch. I'm just a bold bitch that's open with my mouth and I say what the fuck everybody thinks of without no fucking remorse. Messy self will sit with you, listen to you, and then run and tell a motherfucker everything that happened with you. And then come back like, hey, sister, like, that's messy. You know what I'm saying? The way she did Red, that's a messy ass shit. And Red, I can't take Red neither because now you over there sitting with Bell and Bell didn't even fuck with you at first. Self was the first one with the fuck with you. Bell used to laugh at you and not take you serious and thought she was a liar. I don't know, man. It's all after you. This app is filled with fake, fake bitches. We're all fake no, bitches. All fake Let's bitches. be real. We're all fake as we all are fake. Um, We're all messy. Um, we all have some mental issues that we do need to get fixed and we need to seek for help. You know, bitch, I get help. Nothing getting better, bitch. I, you said it's getting better. It's getting better. <laughs> okay, I was making sure. But I can't say you though. I am gonna say this, Miss Tammy. Miss Tammy, really? Mm-hmm. It's like a social media mama to me. I really value right. everything Miss Tammy said to me. Mm-hmm. And when Miss Tammy came along with her, and she looked at me because she told me about it. letting people control me and decide why I'm a beat and I have my own mind. And when they thought I was going to pull up on Jazzy, Miss mm-hmm. Tammy came and looked. I looked at Miss mm-hmm. Tammy because I know her words <laughs> and I know the way she thinks. I say, CC, it ain't what you think. I'm not going to do it. Mm-hmm. I really, 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 really love Miss Tammy. I don't Me know too. how I end up out in love with this lady. Like, not in love sexually. I really love her. Like, I have a high respect for her. Mm-hmm. I used to respect Miss Hosnuff like that. But Miss Hosnuff, Miss Tammy is really. I was about to say Miss Postmaster, Miss Miss Postmaster and and TT. They remind me so much of each Ms. other. Tammy is they mean do. It. But Miss Tammy has so much knowledge to tell me. I feel I wish my mama had more communication with me like this. You know what I mean? So when Miss yeah. Tammy is around me, she's comfortable. Do you think that if your mom had that kind of communication with you, that you'll be a better person than you are today? No, no. Do you think so? No. My mama took care of me. My mama didn't care to do my mama. We want poverty or nothing. I didn't struggle or nothing. My mama is just mm-hmm. that I decided I want to do what I want to do. I wasn't raised in no hood. I wasn't raised to be no gangster. 
my mama worked hard to make sure I wasn't in a poverty situation. But when I got grown, I wanted a nigga with those in his mouth. I wanted a nigga that called me bitches. I was about to say, well, how did how the fuck did you become a gangster then? Because you were a gangster at one point of your life. I wanted a nigga with goes in his mouth. I wanted a nigga that sold drugs. I wanted a nigga with a nice car. And my mama say, look, you're going to go in this world, and this world going to pull you up and spit you out. And your ass going to come back running or come back dead or in a motherfucking cell. And my mama went lying. I came back running and crying at home, beating me. The streets threw me up, threw me up and spit me out. And my mama had to let me go. And she said, from that point, she had to ask the Lord to watch out for me. Because I was down out to the street. Whew. That's a lie. That's a lie. Whew. So I found out some new information about the Bigo Galo words yesterday. Um, I was lined up with a couple of individuals who were invited. I know it came out of Lucille's mouth that, uh. <laughs> who is Lucille? <laughs> You know Lucille, because Shirley was going to whoop Lucille's ass. Shirley said that she was going to go to Chicago and fuck Lucille up. Baby, and Lucille, Lucille have been lying, baby. Lucille been lying on all of Go, girl, out, baby. That big, little, bubble little ass. Peter Zeus looking ass. Ball ass, spinning ass. Come on, Lucille. Come on, Lucille. Come on, Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. So Lucille had told the people, this was right after her whole segment about Caesar, right? Um, so let me just go back into that, you guys. I think for the ones who have missed it, we're going to go ahead and recap that situation. So if y'all remember, have y'all been watching me and Ashley this link up show? We be talking about everybody's show and what could change. Da, da, da. Um, when we were talking about Charlie. Um, one thing that uh, Ashley said was that, you know, the reason why she liked Charlie a lot, like as far as the show, is that he covers everything outside of the Bigo app. Like Facebook people, uh, Twitter people, Instagram, um, TV show people, all of that. And then right after we had critiqued his show, we critiqued it, the L show. And we knew we know now that people be sitting in the window listening to us so the next day when lucille had went live lucille started off her broadcast with the t on caesar from black ink so apparently <clears throat> caesar had whooped his daughter like some years back and he was supposed to get canceled then now he beat the dog <laughs> and he had gotten his whole production <laughs> That's why that hoe in love with Caesar, they both kill dogs. <laughs> Good. Listen, ooh, it starts to make sense. It starts to make she sense every him. single motherfucking day, yeah, don't she you? She was fine, baby. <laughs> Caesar probably she okay, you I don't put nothing in foot. Okay, so listen, you remember when Chosen said that uh, Pumpkin backed her car up on Katie and that's how Katie passed away. Okay, but you remember Jazzy Terry said and she, that was a lie. When and, she she took, and she took an insurance claim out. Jazzy Terry claimed, remember Katie died while Jazzy Terry was up. Jazzy Terry claimed Katie was actually in the house deal. Was the never no rich. And then you remember Jazzy Cherry started to pull up to work on well, her. Yeah, because, you know, that was the time when Jazzy Cherry was down there in Chicago. She was in Chicago. And she took her to take the dog that to the... the line. So the dog was dead in the house. Jazzy Cherry got mad at her and told her that Katie was already passed somewhere in the house. But wouldn't it would have been blood and stuff everywhere if the dog got hit yeah, by a car? Jazzy Cherry was saying, and then <laughs> Jazzy Cherry was supposed to fight. <laughs> 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 I 
Listen, one thing about Lucille was this. Lucille tell a different story every single time you ask her about any situation. If she have already explained the story one time and you ask about it the second time, trust and believe it's going to be a totally different story from how she told it the first time. Some shit going to be added in and some shit going to be subtracted. It's going to be to the point where you have to remind her. No, 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 because you don't remember. You said at 2.30 the dog was just eating, right? I know she's lying, but I just go with the flow because I know Lucille. Go with the flow. I think mm-hmm. everybody knows me still is a big liar. And it, it, it's the fact that it's funny. They all just sit over there and listen to me still lie. I don't think nobody believes me still. Not even much me still. Oh, Lucille. I just think that Lucille has just been doing a whole bunch of lines to make herself just pop. And it's fucked so up. <laughs> And I told her that the gala was paying me $16,000 to go. I was like, huh? So she had 2,000 people in her room firing me up over her lie of me going to the gala and be going to pay me $16,000 to go. Wait a minute. Wait. So, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Lucille said to her people that you had told her. Matter of fact, let me ask you this. When did you tell her that and how was it told? Was I it through a phone me. call, text message? I don't know because Zico not there. She's <laughs> a free-ass <laughs> ticket. You got to buy a, a fancy dress, buy a hotel, buy a plane ticket. Fuck you in your game. And buy, and, buy trans, and buy transportation to and from. Yeah, and food. She said and food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know pumpkin number. I swear to God on my life. I did not know pumpkin number. Because <laughs> yesterday I see her going and off and she guy. said, I'm very yeah. who I give my number to. Pumpkin can't have my number. Listen, listen, y'all. Because <laughs> I. Because I walked into her room yesterday through the window, right? And I walked right in just the time where she was talking about you and that $16,000. <laughs> yeah, that bitch. That bitch said. They pay her sixteen thousand dollars. I said, "What well, did she say this?" Cause I'm confused. I was in there. When this happened, lying on my face. She can't read. She's trying to read. She's trying to read. So the whole know I was talking to her all the whole time. I said, "Why you lying on me?" She's like, "Girl, ain't nobody lying on her." <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> she's like, "Ain't nobody lying on her." I'm like, "It's me." She, she was looking out the company. Have she you noticed? Me. But peep this though. Have you noticed that ever since we had pointed out how Britney read the comment section, Pumpkin starting to read it like Britney, she like is oh well, this the cat was black. Now nah, that bitch said, nah, bitch, my ankles ain't black, bitch. What the fuck y'all talking about, stupid ass fat okay, bitch? So now you're to be funny the whole time. Britney cannot read the comment section. She looked at her magnet. No, but ever since no, I'm not being funny. Ever since we had pointed that out, she's starting to read it like Britney. Britney can't read the comment section. She have a second device that reads it for her. Oh, really? She don't. She she be trying to look at her gift be thrown. Britney uses that other phone to read what she needs to see. Oh, got you. Well, Pumpkin is actually looking at the conversation like this, like trying to figure it out. <laughs> like this person just said. Like this person just said. She was talked about Keo's shoes. She would have read it like this. She was taking Keo's shoes to the airport. Who took Keo's shoes to the airport? <laughs> that's, that's, that's what she do. That's what she do. I swear to God. Okay, so let's be honest. It's like, we go. They said Keo be the blind too. Let's be under the same. Is he? You know I lined up with him today, Let's right? Let's be under the same. That we go to Lucy. What's her name? Lucille? Lucille. We, mm-hmm. we go to Lucille going for laughter. <laughs> we all know Lucille be lying, but we love the laughter. What was it again? I think we all just go to Lucille room for laughter. We know it all be lies, but we love to laugh. Listen, one thing I can say about Lucille is that she is one funny fucking individual. 
the it's 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 from the pronunciation of her words up to her reenacting. Like today, again today, I walk into a room through the motherfucking window, and one girl had called in through the line and was like, "Pumpkin, you remember when you was gonna beat a bitch up with your shopping cart and food at Family Dollars?" <laughs> At Family Dollar Store. They said, the lady said, you don't want to fuck with Pumpkin because she'll get out there and fight. Boosted her motherfucking head up, baby. Pumpkin's motherfucking bonnet stood up so high. She said, yeah. Bitch, I wish a bitch would. Because, bitch, I'm going to put you in a chokehold. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> she said. You was strong. Bitch, okay. You would have saw Kung Fu Panda today. I'm just saying. You Lucille would have turned right to Kung Fu Panda. Hit you with all types of bamboo sticks, bitch. Fling a banana across the aisle and everything. I'm just saying. I think no no shade though, like outside of all of that, like Lucille is funny as the fuck, like no shade. From the lies to the pronunciation of her words to just everything, like yo, like she's funny. She's funny. She's naturally funny. Is she ugly and she thinks she a bad bitch. And crippled. She thinks she a bad bitch. A bad bitch. I remember one day Luke Lucille had a deep wave weed. And she was riding home with her. <laughs> she said, Oh, I was like, I'm light skinned. I said, What? What? She said, This weird made me look real light skinned. Why do people want to be light skinned so bad? See, uh, 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 what's her name with the M? Who, Martha? Martha said, When she got his baby, it's going to be light skinned just like that. I mean, I mean, that makes sense. But. Just but what, like I mean, Cece, but, but, have you but, seen but, her lately? For her to talk about colorist, why is she making a big deal about the baby being light skinned? She the main one talking about colorist I mean, and what's that, wrong with black. So why does this baby have to be light? I mean, Jojo Daddy is yellow. Trying to she said the reason why she had no hardly been online because her and Josh was working on the baby. What? She said she thought she was pregnant at first, but she was just sick for something else. And then her and Josh was working, and she said two weeks and she don't test positive, she gonna give up. Get the motherfucking gun. Mm. Well. So can I ask you a question? Mm. Mm-hmm. When is um uh, uh George Beverly gonna get a job in a car? How is he when gonna support his baby? Who? George Beverly. Frankie Beverly. Frankie Beverly. Uh, listen, Frankie we we don't really know what's going on in Frankie Beverly's life. So we, we don't know if he don't have a car, we don't know if he don't have a job, we don't know. He might have all of these well, we things. We just don't know about it. Down her car, she said it's a bug Frankie Beverly is actually cute to me. I think Frankie Beverly is a cute guy. Uh, huh? You think he's cute? I think he's very cute. Very mm. cute. From that mug yeah. shot that they that, that mug shot they show, Frankie Beverly is fine to me. It's just the contrast glasses that throw me the fuck off. <laughs> when, when them bitches be <laughs> bitches get dark outside. I don't like that. <laughs> Other than that, uh, I think he's real cute. I think he's cute. And I don't like light skinned men. I think he's a cute one. And that's no shame. Have you ever figured out? 
I don't think any of us have ever figured this out, but have you ever figured out why Martha Beverly always wore that purse around her neck sometimes? She wear payday. When it's not payday, you ain't got to worry about cleaning. It's payday, what you mean? So like... Because people were going her money and take her card in her purse and she would be looking for it. No, he's not in jail. He's probably at home resting. It's resting. Do you... you <clears throat> I know this question has been so well asked to you a couple of times. Um, can you ever foresee yourself and her being cool again? Cordial? No. No? Uh, uh, yeah. I kind of forget that. I kind of figured that. Because honestly, it's just like, I think it's gotten way too far to even come back into like a cordial situation. It's just, it's just one thing she did for me that she cannot come back from. Oh, and that's yeah. sitting in that chat with the recorders, calling the feds, having HP to search my house for GPS. I don't appreciate that at all. Now, did this happen on Bigo? And how many years ago was this? Like three years ago, right? Two years ago. Two? Because I've been on Beagle for almost four. Wow. 